The different types of pepper soup derive their name from the protein used. So, if you use goat meat in your pepper soup, it is called goat meat pepper soup. In this video, I used chicken. And so, it is called chicken pepper soup. I will be sharing the ingredients I used as well as the procedure I used step by step. I will also be sharing the importance of this super meal. If you are a returning subscriber, keep being amazing. If you are new here, you are welcome. This is the chicken I used. This is scent leaf. I use scent leaf in this video. You can use lemongrass or basil. Whichever one you can lay your hands on, it's okay. I used onion. I grated this onion and added it to the chicken to marinate. And I used salt to taste as well. These are the spices. I used seasoning cubes. I used pepper. I used habanero pepper and black pepper. The one we call Cameroon pepper. It was hot. This is the pepper going in now. Next is the onion. I simply grated the onion. You can mince, slice, chop or cut as you desire. This is salt going in. Next, mix properly so that every ingredient will be evenly distributed. Once this is done, I marinated this meat for 30 minutes. You can go more or less. Once 30 minutes was over, I added water. This chicken is very strong. This is hard chicken. If you are using a softer one, you can use less water, okay? This is very strong. I added water to the level of the chicken and cooked. While that was cooking, I washed my crayfish. I pounded. You can use grounded crayfish. I pounded that and set aside. Next is to check on the cooking chicken. Once it has started boiling, I added one tablespoon. I used one tablespoon of pepper soup spices. This is a collection of different spices. I'll be leaving the spices in the description box below. You can also get them in stores, in the open market, in shops, in malls. Just ask for pepper soup spices and you get one. You can also make one for yourself. I added the crayfish I pounded with the grated pepper. I love to see this fresh pepper in my pepper soup. You can use grounded one if you so wish. At this point, taste for salt. Once you are done, cover and cook until it is done. I cooked for additional 15 minutes. I told you earlier this chicken is very strong. It is time to add the scent leaf or the inshawn. You can also decide to use lemongrass or parsley. Whichever one you are choosing is okay. I added this and cooked for another 5 minutes to let the inshawn or the scent leaf release its scent. Yeah, the scent really. Once that is done, the pepper soup is ready. Look at that. You can serve this with agidi. Of course, that was what I served. You can serve this with white rice. You can even eat it just like so as it is. Just eat it as a complete meal. It can serve as an appetizer. If you don't have appetite for food, don't worry. Take pepper soup. It will help to stimulate and open the taste buds. If you are a nursing mom, it will help you to recover from childbirth. If you have cold, it will help to heal and clear the sinuses. Pepper soup is soothing and can warm you up from inside. It can be served at special occasions. It can be served at parties or just at home. It can serve as a meal at home. Would you be making this recipe? When you do, let me know how it goes. Mine was delicious and hot, just like the name implies. I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Keep being amazing. Bye-bye.